So a couple weeks back I released a video called The Best Way to Level Up Super Fast in Phasmophobia. In that method you would use the Maple Lodge map and you would use the benches to your left as you're walking to the camp. But I received a comment which I didn't actually think about. What if you don't have the Camp Woodwind map? And that brings us to my new series where we test out best XP farming on different maps. Hope you enjoy! Now here are the settings that I'm using for this custom. Starting sanity, zero. Sanity pills restoration, zero. Sanity drain speed, 200. Sprinting on, player speed, 100%. Flashlights on, lose items and consumables turned on. Ghost speed, 100%. Roman frequency high. Changing favorite room, high. Interaction amount, low. Event frequency, low. Friendly ghost off. Grace period, one second. Hunt duration is high. Evidence given, zero. And then finally, on contract, setup time, zero seconds. Weather, fog. Door starting open, high. Number of hiding places, none. Sanity monitor, off. Activity monitor, off. Fuse box at start of contract, off. Fuse box visible on map, off. And in the end, that gives us a reward of 10.22 times. And now that you have the settings, choose Tanglewood Drive and start your game. I want to point out that I've only got tier 1 items equipped in order to make it a bit more beginner friendly. I should also point out if you don't have incense or a lighter, then I would level up first before attempting this. I recommend unlocking these first because without it would be pretty difficult. The point in this method is that you figure out the ghost in one hunt. If you are not sure what the ghost is, just get out, guess the ghost and leave. Now, as you enter the house, the first thing you want to prioritize is getting lights on. This makes it way easier to see the ghost during a Well, that's unfortunate. See the ghost during a hunt. <laughs> it's a fast ghost. So, as I was saying, you want to prioritize getting power on and getting lights on. This makes it much easier to see the ghost when you are looping. Looping is this. You are looping around an object. There is two places in Tanglewood that you can do this. One being the kitchen island. And the other being this van. So like I said before, priority is get the lights on, get the power on. So that when you're looping around the kitchen island or the van, you can see the ghost at all times. So from that hunt, you will have heard, it wasn't a normal speed ghost. Normal speed ghost would be 1.7, but that sounded a little bit faster. So if I hear a fast ghost, I will then open my journal. I will then cross off all the ghosts that are normal speed. So you would leave gin because that can, that can be fast as well. I don't think it was fast enough to be a revenant, wasn't a shade, wasn't a demon, wasn't a Yuri, wasn't an Oni, wasn't a Yokai. I think it was too slow to be a Hantu. Wasn't a Goyo, wasn't a Myling, wasn't an Onryo. The ones that I'm marking off like dead set too quick, they're the ones that are normal speed. They're, they are 1.7. And a Hantu is a 2.7 in the cold. And a 1.44 when it's not cold. I think it was too fast to be twins. It can't be a Raju because there was no active player equipment around when the hunt was on, which would then make the Raju speed up. And it was too fast for an Obaka. Obaka is normal speed as well. It could very well be a Mimic. Mimic's an awkward one. It obviously mimics the ghost. So it could mimic any of these ghosts and you won't know unless you bring in the camera to test for orbs. But in this method, you don't bring the camera in, you bring in a smudge, a lighter and a torch. So just to rule it out, I'm going to say it's not a mimic, but it very well could be. It could be Moroi. Actually, I think it is Moroi. It can't be a Diogen, because Diogen would start off really fast, get up in your grill, like right up in your face and slow right down. You can't hide from a Diogen either. And it was way too slow for a fair. I'm between Jin and Morai. 
No, it, I think no, cause I think Jin's too fast. I think it is a Maroi. Maroi is faster when the average sanity is lower. Now, obviously, this method you start with no sanity. Maroi on the lowest sanity will go at two point two five speed, but in line of sight, it will go up to a three point seventy or three point seven or three point seven one. So, in line of sight, if it sees you, you will know about it. It, it will sound rapid. I do believe it's a Maroi. I mean. There's only one way to find out. I'm actually surprised it hasn't hunted again. I should also say, if you complete any of these optional objectives, it would be best to guess the ghost and get out, and you will still get money. I'm gonna get back in the van, and go, and make sure you vote for the ghost. And there we have it. So, this was the first episode and then hopefully a brand new series where we look at each map in Phasmophobia, figure out which is the best method to identify the ghost and make that sweet, sweet cash. Obviously, this episode was for Tanglewood and the next one will be for Edgefield. Anyway, I hope this helps. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.